In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Do you put Christ first? In other words, is Jesus Christ your King? In the Holy Gospel of today's Mass, we see the centerpiece of a beautiful tapestry of scriptures that is woven together from the very moment we opened our lips in matins and we will conclude our prayers of this day with evening compline. The Mass is that centerpiece of the liturgical tapestry and in it you will find the richest of colors to elucidate the mysteries of today's holy sacrifice. That from the rising of the sun until its setting, may God come first. The Holy Gospel and the epistle that complements it so well teaches us about charity. About charity. My friends, do not take this word lightly. And do not vulgarize it the way that the world does in replacing its true substance from, for a meaningless philanthropy that is void of eternal merit and brings no salvation to the souls who pretend to practice it. What then is charity? Charity is the very essence of God. Deus caritas est. God is charity. And all who live in charity live in God. And God lives in you. My friends, charity is the love of Christ himself burning within your hearts thanks to grace. Through your baptism, the one baptism in the one true faith makes you a child of the one true God. And as a child of God, he wishes to give to you a participation of his own divinity, his charity, in order now to live in charity amongst each other and amongst those who have not the love of God. How did you receive Christ's love in you? that you may put Christ first in your life. It was because Christ first loved you. Place our Lord's grace on a throne in your heart. And if you wish Christ to be king in our blessed nation, you must first enthrone him on the throne of your heart, placing him first. For how could you expect a nation to honor Christ first and above all else if the citizens of that nation do not do it for themselves first? Our God is King of heaven and earth. Through the mystery of the Incarnation, He has prerogatives to reign in the hearts of every man woman, and child in this world. Let him reign in your hearts. Place him first above all else, giving him the best moments of your day to kneel before his throne and tell him you love him. And you will feel the love of God for you in your souls. And that love is not a milk toast, apathetic feeling that comes to the complacent in this world. It is the fire that God has within his own heart that burns within yours, that does not allow 
souls entrusted to your care to do things that would jeopardize the very thing that God esteems above all else, their salvation. Charity is loving others like Christ loves them, bringing them back to the truth, making them understand it was for this that they were created, and it is by living it in love that they shall be redeemed. You love others by loving Christ and allowing Christ's love to love them through you. It desires their salvation above all things. And in many ways, it can appear to the world as intolerant. It is intolerant because it settles for nothing less than their salvation. Nothing less than the greatest good for which they were created. The children of Holy Mother Church, Christians, we are intolerant in principle because we believe. And yet we are so tolerant in practice because we love. The enemies of the church and the enemies of Christ are tolerant in principle because they believe in nothing. And yet they are so intolerant in practice because they do not love. Teach them to love by teaching them what love means. It means to suffer with the one who loves you so much. Never discouraged by those things that seem to assault that which is not important but rather to galvanize and strengthen yourself around that one principle, that God is love, and He loves you. Do you love Him first and above all else? Are you praying the rosary daily, asking for the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Conception, that Christ may reign in this land that she loves so much in order to make atonement for our sins against her immaculate heart, for our indifference and our ingratitude, for our participation in the mess that we find ourselves in. Pray the rosary daily. Are you making also daily an act of contrition? acknowledging our own sinfulness and asking for the mercy of Almighty God, which we all require. Those of us first, perhaps, because we know better. Go to our Lord, humbly asking for forgiveness each day in an act of contrition. And lastly, placing yourself under the protection of St. Michael the Archangel, the Prince of the Heavenly Host who will defend you in battle, both exteriorly in this world, but also interiorly in the inconstancy of your soul. St. Michael the Archangel will defend you in battle against despondency, against discouragement, and against the temptations of despair, which, yes, can tempt us so strongly when those things outside of our control seem to be attacking us the worst. Hold fast for Christ the King. Make Him first in your prayer life, that He may be first now and forever, and that He may reign in this world and in the next. May His kingdom come now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future videos.